What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles. Today we're focusing on our erratic facts up. Young Czech native, uh, playing for the Kitchen Ranges, and a top prospect for the 2012 NHL entry draft. A uh, pretty good sized kid at 6'3 and 200 pounds. I think um, ideally, if you want to have a long career in the pros, you're going to have to put on about 20 pounds of muscle. But I mean, he just turned 18 two months ago, uh, January 94. So, you know, that'll come with with time. I'm not too worried about that. I think uh, the way he plays the game, his high hockey IQ, and his, um, you know, we'll talk about his numbers in a second. And, uh, you know, the way he understands the nuances of playing defensive hockey at a young age um, will definitely help him more than 20 pounds of muscle ever would. But uh, let's divulge into his numbers. Uh, playing his first year in North America up the Kitchener Rangers, kind of like uh, Gabriel Landeskog, the number uh, three pick in last year's draft. Or was he number, yeah, it was number two or three pick, Landeskog. Um... This is number two pick, excuse me. Uh, you know, just all around great player. Um, you know, honing his skills in Kitchener. You know, like I said, with Landis Clark, back to him, uh, taking European players and uh, helping them play the North American style with more uh, efficiency and effectiveness. Um, you know, understand the nuances when you're playing on smaller ranks. You know, the physicality level is going to be stepped up a notch due to you know the proximity of opposing players with less room to flash and dash in. So uh, you know, you got to understand that he's done that. He's passed the test of flying colors. You know, he's he led all rookies in the OHL in all offensive categories, despite playing for the Czech Republic at the World Juniors. Only had two goals in six games for uh, and under the Czech team. You know, played played the game tough, played the game right. He, um, you know, and I'm not I don't look too deep into his numbers in the World Juniors. He's one of the youngest players in that team, and uh, you know, for him to play at that level is a pretty good thing. Three points in four games in the playoffs to Kitchener too, so it's uh, falling over. Uh, last year. Had great numbers in the Czech U18 league, uh, 49 points in 28 games. Got up for a little bit in uh, the U20 league at 15 points in 24 games. So those are more than respectable numbers. Um, you know, played real well at the uh, under-18 World Championships uh, last year too. So you know, see what he can do. Um, NHL player comparisons. I think I said Gabriel Landeskog's name about four times in this segment. I don't think that's a right thing. I think. Landis Gog uh, is a little bit more taken up the middle. I think he's got that same drive to the net ability, um, you know, the power forward upside with his size, but I think he's more of a flash and dash guy. I'm almost inclined to go a little bit towards Marion Hosa. Um, not as flashy as Hosa, but a little more flashy than Landis Gog if you want, if you want to meet me halfway. Um, and I, like I said, comparisons are, are an inexact science. You know, what I've seen someone is typical of someone else, what I've seen someone. But I think if you take the, the best of both players and kind of merge them, you get a pretty intriguing prospect. I think that's where Faxa, Faxa is going to end up. And, you know, I think he'll be definitely a top 20 pick, maybe even the top 12, you know what I mean? They, they uh, you know, you can use young forwards with this kind of upside. Um, I think it'd be a good fit for the Washington Capitals. I think uh, a player that understands the game like this kid can, I think he's got, you know, second line upside. Maybe play him with Cody Egan down the line. Um, that would be a very intriguing um you know, line for the Washington Capitals. They got two picks in the top 12 anyway, depending upon how it uh, how it all breaks down for them this year. Um, you know, I think definitely, you know, him and Cody Eakin can be a great line combo. So he can kill penalties too. Cody Eakin's got two got top six upside and plays a sound two-way game. So I think two of them together be a hell of a duo with uh, any winger to comment Ovi and the, the flash and dash players on the top couple lines. But I'll see how it all shakes up. That's it for this episode of the Power Players CJ Prospect Profiles. On uh, Kitchen Rangers Center slash Winger uh, Radic Faxa. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season. Later, guys.